All right, so we're going to look at red black trees. I'm going to work through an example that hopefully will clarify it. So I'm going to use red for red nodes, and I'm going to use blue for black nodes, because I don't have a black pen. It wouldn't show up. So let's, add an, let's start with an example. We're going to add a 3. And root is always black. Cool. Everything's good. Let's add one to our tree. New nodes are red. Any violations there? Probably not. We've only got two things. Every node is red or black. The root is always black. The root is black. That's great. Every path has the same number of black nodes. There's no two consecutive red nodes. So everything's good. We'll add a 5. Again, we don't have any violations. We add a 7. OK, now we've got a violation of our rules. One of our rules is that no two nodes, no two consecutive nodes can be red. We've got two consecutive reds. So how do we fix this? So we added the 7. So the seven's parent is the five. The seven's grandparent is the three. And what's the seven's aunt? The seven's aunt is the one. So remember our rule. If we have a black aunt, we rotate. And if we have a red aunt, we color flip. So in this case, we're going to do a color flip. And our color flip, remember, ends up having the nodes Red for the parent, black, and black. So when we do a color flip here, we make our three red, we make our one and our five black, and our 7 stays the same. Have we got a valid red-black tree? No, we don't, because our root is not black. So let's just fix that and make the root black. So now we have 3, 1, 5, and we have a red 7. Notice I don't care about the color of the edges. Just whichever pen you've got in your hand at the time is totally fine. Is this a valid red-black tree? The root's black. On our left path from root to leaf, we've got one, two black nodes. And on our right path from root to leaf, we've got one, two black nodes. The same number of black nodes. There's no consecutive red nodes. Everything's great. Let's add a 6 to our tree. So a 6 will go where will it go? 6 is bigger than 3. It's bigger than 5, smaller than 7. So 6 comes down here. Is this a valid red black tree? No, it's not because we've got two consecutive red nodes. How do we fix it? We have to figure out what the aunt is. So the 6 is the node that we added. The 7 is the parent. The 5 is the grandparent. And this null down here that's not shown is the 6's aunt. Remember, one of the rules is that nulls are black. In this case, we have a black aunt. So black aunt rotate. We're going to rotate. The rotation that we're going to do is the same. We figure it out the same way. The imbalance is in the right child's left subtree. So that's going to be a right-left rotate. And we're going to rotate the 5 and the 6 around the 7. So we end up with the 3 and the 1. the 7, and the 5, and 
I'm sorry. That's not right. We got the three and the one right. The six and the five and the seven. Remember that after we do a rotation, we have to fix the color of our nodes. And what I've shown here is the color of the nodes as they were before we did the rotation. But after a rotation, we fix the color of the nodes so that the parent is black and the children are red. So what that means is the six becomes black and the five and the seven are both red. Okay. Is that a valid red-black tree? We have two black nodes going down the left, we've got two black nodes going down the right, and we have no consecutive red nodes. So yes, that's a valid red-black tree. Let's add an eight to our tree. Now we've got a violation. We've got two red node, consecutive red nodes. And uh, eight is the node that we added. The parent is the seven. The six is the grandparent. And the five is the aunt. So based on our rule, we've got a red aunt. And so we color flip. So when we color flip, we end up changing the colors. And I'm going to redraw my tree up here so that I can add some more numbers to it. Oops, I need that so I can see it. We had a three, a one, a six, five, seven, and eight. That's my tree. We're going to do a color flip here. And so after a color flip, we end up with a red parent and black children. So our color flip is going to end up giving us a three and a one, a red six, black five, black seven, and a red eight. So we did a color flip. Remember the rules. After a color flip, our nodes end up as red, black, black. Okay. Next, we add a 9 to our tree. 9 is bigger than 3, bigger than 6, bigger than 7, bigger than 8. So a 9 will come down here. We've got a violation of our tree because we've got two consecutive red nodes. Our violation is by the nine. The nine's parent is the eight. The eight's parent is the seven. That's the grandparent of the nine. And the aunt is a null. Black aunt. So we rotate. Our violation is in our right child's right subtree. And so we need to do a left rotation. We're going to left rotate the seven around the eight. And so we're going to end up with a tree that looks like this. And I'm going to leave the nodes in their original color right now, and then we'll figure out the colors after we've done the rotation. So after we do a rotation, we reset the colors. And the way that we reset the colors is we make the parent to be black and the two children to be red. So in this case, the eight will be black and the two children, the seven and the nine, will be red. So the six stays red, the five is down here, the eight is red, 
uh, sorry, is black, and the seven and the nine are red. Is that a valid red-black tree? If we start at the three and we go to the left, we have two black nodes. If we go down the right side, we've got one path here that has two black nodes, and we have another path through the eight, either to the seven or to the nine, that also has two black nodes. So every path from root to leaf has two black nodes, and there are no two consecutive red nodes. So that's a valid red-black tree. Now we're going to add a 10 to our tree. Again, it's going to be red. So our tree is going to look like this. We've got a violation because we've got two red nodes, the nine and the 10. And how are we going to fix that? Our 10 was the new node that we added. Nine is the parent, eight is the grandparent, seven is the aunt. We have a red aunt, and so we do a color flip. And when we do a color flip, remember, we set the parent to be red and the two children to be black. So our eight becomes red and our seven and our nine become black. So our tree looks like this. The six stays the same. The eight becomes red. The five is the same. The seven and the nine become black. And the 10 remains red. Is that a valid red-black tree? So every path must have the same number of black nodes. So we've got two black nodes if we go down this path. We've got two black nodes if we go down this path. We've got two black nodes if we go down this path. And we've got two black nodes if we go down this path. So every path from root to leaf has the same number of black nodes. It's not a valid red-black tree because we've got two consecutive reds. How do we fix it? The eight is the problem child, the one that's causing the problem. The six is the parent, the eight is the grandparent, so the three is the grandparent, and the one is the aunt. It's a black aunt, and so we rotate. The eight is the one causing the problem, and the problem child is in the three, the grandparents, right child's right subtree. So that means we have to do a left rotation. Notice that the way we balance the tree is exactly the same for red-black trees as other kinds of trees. If the imbalance is in the right child's right subtree, we do a left rotation. If the imbalance is in the right child's left subtree, we do a right-left. If the imbalance is in the left child's right subtree, we do a left-right. And if the imbalance is in the right child's right subtree, we do a left rotation. Exactly the same technique. The only criteria, though, is what, at what point do we do the rotation? And for red-black trees, we do that when we have this violation either of the number of blacks or of the number of, of adjacent reds. So here we have the imbalance between the six and the eight. So now we have to do a rotation. I'm going to do a rotation and keep the colors the same to start with. And we have to do a left rotation. We're going to bring the three down to be the six's le left child. So I'm going to keep the colors the same as they are right now, and then we'll figure out the colors. So the six becomes the root, and the three, and the one, and the five, which is the six's left child, becomes the three's right child. Okay. The eight, the seven, the nine, and the ten. 
Now we have to fix the colors. And after a rotation, we set the root to be black and the children to be red. So we set the six to be black, the children to be red, The other colors are not affected, they stay the same. Seven, nine, and ten. <coughs> Is this a valid red black tree? If we go down our different paths, if we come down the left side, we've got two blacks down this path, we've got two black nodes down this path. We've got two black nodes down this path, and we've got two black nodes down this path. So every path from root to leaf has the same number of black nodes, and there are no two consecutive red nodes. So this is a valid red-black tree. Now, would this also be a valid AVL tree? Let's take a look. We start at the lowest point, the nine has one child, the height below the eight is two on the right and one on the left, the height below the six is three on the right, on, on the left hand side of the tree the height below the three is one on the left and one on the right, and the height below the six is two on the left. So indeed if this were an AVL tree it's also a valid AVL tree. That's not always the case. Valid red-black trees don't have to be valid AVL trees. So the red-black tree is a mechanism for balancing a tree by using the labels to tell us when to rebalance, rather than using difference in heights like the AVL does. The red-black tree relies on having a Boolean that we set as either red or black, and if there's a violation in the properties, and there are six rules that we have to look at, then um, we rebalance the tree. <coughs>